Companies today are morphing into information-driven entities at an unprecedented pace. This leads them to create, organize, and store more and more data every day. They need an agile and scalable data center infrastructure that can support this explosive data growth. In recent times, many Ethernet and IP-based storage protocols have been gaining traction as a way to economically deploy storage. Protocols like iSCSI and NFS provide excellent storage connectivity for small to mid-sized virtual environments. File-based protocols like NFS and SMB are also excellent for distributed file systems and object storage platforms that cater to structured and unstructured and semi-structured data. InfiniBand works well in high-performance computing environments, while FCOE works well in integrated systems. Fiber channel, however, still reigns supreme when it comes to enterprise-wide storage deployments in which performance and resiliency dictate architectural decisions. Fiber channel networks scale very well in large, multi-petabyte mixed workload environments, but it also offers an equally competitive entry point for organizations that want to deploy shared mixed workload storage environments and or densely virtualized environments. IDC sees IP-based protocols showing strong growth in smaller and mid-sized businesses that prefer to purchase storage systems in bands one to three. Organizations that purchase such storage platforms are the most cost conscious and cannot afford to separate network infrastructures for storage and non-storage related workloads. Organizations that purchase storage systems in bands four and higher are mostly mid-sized and large enterprises that trust the stability and consistency offered by shared fiber channel storage area networks. Such networks are often used for deploying mission critical applications like business intelligence, analytics, ERP, and CRM applications. Many of these applications require relational databases that need to provide sub-millisecond response times. The delivery of such fast response times means that the network needs to host multiple storage platforms, including all flash arrays, and provide latency and congestion-free network access. As can be seen from the chart, the continued demand for fiber channel will push the worldwide revenue for fiber channel-based storage systems from 13 billion in 2014 to over 14 billion in 2017. At first impression, this appears to represent a relatively modest year-over-year -year increase compared with other protocols that are growing faster but from a smaller base. However, when seen in terms of absolute revenue, fiber channel-based storage systems still form the bulk of the overall SAN and open network storage markets. IDC believes that at least for the foreseeable future, fiber channel will continue to gain adoption in larger or mission critical environments where deterministic response time, performance and resiliency are important.